the Senate's midterm report caused a big stir in and outside the Vatican. Bishops have clarified that the report is not final, but instead a work in progress. But now the question is, what modifications will be carried out? Yes, I would say that as a whole, the document has been received. But having said that, without a doubt, there have been changes. In virtually every chapter, amendments have been made. The confusion was triggered on Monday when statements made about homosexuality and cohabitating couples were released in the document. Even though bishops didn't say what specific changes have been made in the report, they did stress that the wording will be based on reaching out to others instead of condemning. As we reach out to that individual, uh, we begin with where that person is. And what that means of its very nature is to begin by looking and pointing to positive elements that, that are already in that person's life or in that person's relationship that will accompany them. It's not a way of, uh, of, of denying, but rather it's a way of amplifying the beauty of our church teaching. So I, I, I hope you'll be able to see if our if our amendments are effective, uh, I hope you'll be able to see that there will be a refinement of this, these words. It's not just about discussion, but about action, specifically in creating pastoral programs in the church that can support couples during all the highs and lows of married life. The first phase of the two-week synod will end on Sunday, October 19th, but there's still a long way to go before concrete ideas are put in motion how wise Pope Francis was to make this a, two, a, a whole year process. Because I think we would not be ready at the end of, of this week to give thoughtful, meaningful, and I would say enduring pastoral direction. The final version of the midterm report is expected to be approved and released by Saturday, October 18th.